Uh, Joe's vlog day 56 I believe Sunday um, ran 3.1 this morning I did about 32 and a half minutes um, legs are just not giving it to me right now just uh, like my my right hip is sore and my right knee is like, give me a little bit of tingling and, and my right heel burns a little bit like I think I got a little bit of sciatica but I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to diagnose that. I just if, when you read on the internet, Doctor Google says if you got pain in your back, it's your sciatic nerve. Well, um, my back is tight, so uh, I probably need to start seeing a chiropractor or get a massage or something like something to hit those muscles. So you just got to break down and do it. With what time? I mean, today today we're going to Kennywood Park. Um, so I, I had to be honest, like I'm not in love with Kennywood anymore. I used to be when I was a kid. I used to be in love with it. I used to love to go there. Um, yeah, that's, that was like right when the Steel Phantom was made. Um, so like I rode the Steel Phantom one summer, and I got on the Magnum next summer, and then then it's like everything exploded, and we were trying to be the biggest, baddest roller coaster, and. I think after riding those rides so many times, I just don't care anymore. I think I think some of the wind was sucked out of me. Uh, God, it's been going. It's been almost. It's been so many years now. I feel like it's been almost 20 years that uh, Millennium Force was built in Cedar Point, and I feel like I rode that coaster twice in one day, and I stood in line for it for like an hour and a half both times. I mean, this is like right when it was new, and I feel like riding it those two times, it just sucked, sucked the love out of me. Like I, I don't know that I was like an enthusiast before, but I just, I don't get excited for big thrill rides anymore. They just don't. I feel like it's, it's so quick, and then it's like a quick hit payoff, and. There was nothing earned, I think. I really think that's like kind of like why I'm just like, mm, with roller coasters, it's like I don't feel like there's anything really earned in the payoff. I mean, maybe you sat in the seat for eight seconds, is like the magnetic drive jerked your face up over a hill, but I just don't get excited for Kennywood anymore. Now the kids do, and Sarah's like, Sarah's like chomping in the bit waiting for me to get inside. But, um,. I just don't get excited for Kennywood anymore. So that's where that is. And uh, as I'm doing these videos, I know I've missed a few days, but I feel like I feel like I want to start doing like one weekly video with the kids, where it just like highlights our weeks, because I want them to go back and see it. You know what I mean? So a lot of you know I'm a wrestling fan, and I've pretty much just been a WWE most of my life why well, I, I mean I was I was like a WCW fan when that was going like when that was going out of uh, Atlanta but um, pretty much predominantly most of my life have been like a WWF WWE fan so like the Indies the indie things weren't really ever like I guess they were on my radar I feel like we went to like a few indie shows when like a big name would be in town like like when Ric Flair would be in town or um, you know, just like those type names. So, uh, these kids, uh, the, the Jackson kids, they go by the, the name of the Young Bucks. Like, they do a video. And I'm actually, the wrestling is okay. They're really good wrestlers. They put on an entertaining show. At the end of the day, that's what they want. But, man, they do this, this video series that's just really interesting to me. And I... I feel their pain like these kids are f like flying to Japan and then flying to Baltimore and then flying back home for like 13 minutes and then flying back to Japan for 16 hours or then they get back on the plane and fly back to LA and I really like what they're doing I really like it so I'd like to do that with my kids if anything just to leave something behind for them like this is what we did you know, one summer when I was six or nine or twelve. So 
I gotta get into editing. Now this video has always been like meant to be gorilla. Just like one take, just like I was writing out in a journal. But I think if I wanna do something a little bigger with a little bit more substance, I gotta start working on the editing. So I just wanted you to know that. Like this was never meant to be, this was meant to be like very freestyle and never, I was never gonna do editing with this. And I think with the kids' the little toy videos, we need to start doing editing with that too. Or at least an opening. I don't think this, I don't think this video ever needs an opening. So, okay, so tomorrow's Monday, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick at 3.1 for the next couple weeks until I can straighten out what's going on on my legs. And um, I'm gonna try to start another lifting program on January 1. It's a Sunday, so not January. July 1. I'm so out of it right now. July 1 is when that lifting program is going to start. So, getting ready for Barber. I want to do that so bad. I'm starting to feel like my body's just not responding. But then again, I didn't train at all for Barber last year and I did alright with that. So, we'll be okay. Alright, so news tomorrow from Kennywood and hopefully my run tomorrow will be a little smoother. See ya.